Our 2009 World Bowling Championship Pangna Pomusena. Two-hander from Finland, Oscar Palema, about to burn this lane up, quite literally. But he's up against a lefty, and that can sometimes be a, a tough prospect on this single lane format. Oscar straight away, smashing the pins everywhere. That's his style. Together, when Palema put him under such tremendous pressure, and uh, well. Oscu will now fully understand, Cass, that this man may be of uh, advancing years, shall we say, in the, the world of sport, but he can still bowl. Yes, he's uh, about the same age as me, I think. I say that with tongue-in-cheek. Payne looking for another strike. Oh, a well. Seven pin in the corner. Yeah, not quite there. The seven pin stays up, but... Uh, they're very heavy and they've got very square bottoms to them and they don't fall over that easily. Brand new Brunswick pins. They just went off the sheet for 256. We well, didn't panic, did he? There was no histrionics from Pang when it went wrong. He just thought, OK, how do we sort this out? And away he went. Yeah, it's, it's sort of, I've been there before, I know exactly what I'm doing. Good start oh, from uh, Dilemma. Still, still a dangerous Chance. opponent. Very explosive bowler. Great to watch. Great for the future. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How about that for a strike? Hang trips the six and the seven pin. Well, he's making his own luck at the moment. I think. Uh, I think we can give his age away, Cass, now. 52 years of age, so we're hoping it left the two pin standing, but they both went over for a strike. Oscar's gone wide, but oh dear, oh dear. That's even more outrageous. Leaves the two and the eight pin standing, and they're the last two pins to go for that uh, hit them thin, make them spin strike. Just watch this. This is just unbridled power. Just touches the head pin, but look at that kickback. Ooh. Yeah, like a high backswing. A lot of rotation. <laughs> boom, boom. Nice double for Pang. Homes two and three. Yeah, we always build it up in the commentary box as a head-to-head -head because that's what we enjoy seeing, these great Passes. names in Tempest. Back on television, this show will go all around the world. Everybody will have the opportunity to see Pang looking at his best as Oscar shoots three strikes in a row. Yeah, the fin's not looking too bad either. Had a try at uh, that double-handed style the other day at the bowling alley. Consulted with Jason Belmonte before I gave it a go, but uh, Jason warned me you get a really sharp pain in your lower back on the first few times you actually bowled that delivery, and he wasn't wrong. Very interesting style. Pang looking for another strike, and makes it. What a great shot. That's cracking stuff. A turkey then for Nepomuceno to match Palermo's turkey. But uh, Nepomuceno starting in the first frame See with there. a spare. Demigod as such, there you go. Fantastic support from Payne. He'll spend a bit of time with the fans after this match. And Palermo's strike run comes to an end. The messenger not quite able to uh, weed those two out. Yeah, too much length on the ball. Didn't, didn't get back up to the head pin. A light hit. Leaves the two and the eight pin sleeper spare, which uh, we've spoken about before. is a tricky little spare. The front pin must go on and hit the back pin. Like that. Great spare. Not the easiest one to take, but uh, Oscar's covered it the very nicely. You remember bowling some 20 years ago when you first saw him? Obviously, the backswing is not quite as high as it used to be. He's certainly slowed down a bit, but it's a classic style. That's still got the, the deep knee bend and the long follow through. So smooth. Makes a spare in frame five. Spare either side of uh, a turkey. What he did in the similar to what he did in the first game so uh, good stuff from Nefamasino then string those strikes together and go straight off the card and no one can touch him but this is the single lane format and Palermo's got a lot of work to do from here oh dear well Dominic Barrett leads this group with two points after his win over Guy Kaminsky yeah. well, at the moment looks as if uh, Nefamasino could join Dominic Barrett and then for the first time we'll see how the aggregates work out 
the uh, average pinfall across the games, which is uh, going to tell us the difference between the guys in the league table that are on the same points. And at the moment, Nepomuceno looking like he's going to put two in the bank from this first match. Bowled on right at the start of the competition. He was here for the first few years. And we haven't seen him for a while on the World Tempin Masters, but it's just so good to see that at least he's kept himself in shape, he's kept himself competitive. And I guess his job, Cass, works for him pretty well. I mean, it's, it's a great way to, to keep yourself in shape, jetting around the world and bowling. Absolutely, yes. As I said, he, he gives conferences. Uh, he's a great ambassador. Uh, he's a speaker, plays exhibition matches. And of course, yes, uh, if you're in a bowling centre, you know, four or five days a week, you're going to play, which is going to keep you fit. Played against the legend that is Payne Nepomuceno. And Oscar Palermo determined that in his game against him, he's going to come away with a point at least. He's still pushing hard here. A great looking shot here from Oscar. Keeps in touch. Looks the rat, sets up that chain just to see Payne Nepomuceno. Yeah, that's, that's a good point. point. Very good point. Oh dear, not quite there. Watch that one very cool. Pang needs to just tidy this one up. <laughs> the Philippine fans here so the second game of this match. Looking to make that first point on the board. This is the big ball. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh. And just like Pang in game one, he's gone over to the Brooklyn side. And you can bet you like that he really doesn't care. What we know is that it was a double. Palermo then back in control in game two. But remember, he was in control comfortably in game one, and then Pang Nepomuceno started to do that. It's incredible how close uh, both games have been in the way the uh, pattern has gone. Well, just looking at the uh, previous score, the lowest score, the lowest pin count that Pang had was an eight count. He's been strikes or nines all the way through. And there you see those uh, single pin nine spares. Palermo then for Turkey. And he's got it three in a row. And it looks as if the European Weber Cup captain he uh, can come away with a point from his opening encounter at this year's World Ten Pin Masters. Remember, it's a round-robin format in this uh, Group A. Dominic Barrett tops it with two points. Palermo looking to spoil Pang Nepomuceno's party, and those three strikes in a row Absolutely will help rip the rank. Made three in a row. Pressure time now on Payang from the Philippines. Working a strike, but doesn't turn it into a double, and he's left himself a stinker. And that, I think, is good night, Manila, because that is the 4 7 10 from a ball that went high through the head pin. Didn't seem to have very much pace. It broke early on him, high through the head pin, left the split, and at the most he's going to be looking at is probably just two pins. Yeah, Cass, and we're starting to see how this league format is going to work because we're going to get. The point shared here, but what Pang doesn't want to happen is for his aggregate score to drop any further. Absolutely, he's still got to carry pins. He still has to keep bowling because those pins will count. If there's any anywhere near a tie, those pins Strikes will count. Blowing if he can, and high count spares at least. No, four in a row. Nice work. And Oscar's on his way to a point. Yes, absolutely. The younger of the two players comes through eventually. Throws four strikes in a row. Three of them are very good. One was. Shall we say more than dubious, but he won't care about that. Time. It's going to go. Oh dear, and Simon, as you said, took a score to drop any further. Getting a nice response here from the Barnsley Metrodome crowd, as you would expect. Well, he gave it a shot. That's a great effort. Yeah, very unfortunate. Well, they'd have taken the roof off if he managed to clear that out, but uh, that's not a great finish to the strong and getting a big score as well. That's beautiful. What a delivery from Palermo. Yes, it's just unbridled, absolute power, isn't it? When that ball goes into the 1 3 pocket, just rips the rack. I mean, that if he hits, they're going down. Yeah, it's just absolute power. Or as well. That's beautiful. Palermo turns it into a six bagger. It's going to be the high game. Well, Pang did this to him in the first game, and he's now dishing it back out to the legend in the second. 
Brooklyn again for a cheeky final strike, and Palermo does put a point in the bank. That is a very good performance from Oscar Palermo in the second game. And uh, Pang Nepomuceno, with a great effort in the first to take a point. His aggregate, though, dropping down quite dramatically. Palermo recovers the situation. Great aggregate, great score, and a great point in the bank for the fifth.